between this traffic and the heat, no wonder I always have headaches. It's 106 degrees out here, and this traffic is bad. This is the toll road. I don't understand, but it's like this every day, so it's life. So I guess this is the life I got to live. up all my LJC family and welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back hey welcome back welcome back to my channel family and today 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 is Tuesday and I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all a little bit see how y'all days going see how y'all been doing and to thank y'all for almost getting me to 500 subscribers. I am so happy, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Um, I think I am six subscribers away from 500. Y'all, I am so happy. It then took me almost <laughs> two years just to get to 500 subscribers. But hey, I'm almost there. So I'm good. I'm almost there, y'all. But anyway... I just wanted to get on here and ask y'all, talk to y'all, and ask y'all, do y'all think y'all ever been cheated in life? Like, not cheated on or something like that, cheated in life. Like, the things that were supposed to be you, like the things that were supposed to be, you got cheated out of it. Like, say for instance, um, Growing up, I got cheated out of my childhood. Somebody took that away from me. Then, I got cheated out of my teenage years because I didn't really get to be a teenager because I was doing the most. I was being fast. I was doing stuff I wasn't supposed to do. And I became a teen mom. But I think becoming a teen mom saved me because at the end of the day, it changed me. It, it changed me because I was doing so much. I was doing so much, but after I had my son and I realized that, you know, nobody in this life is gonna take care of your children and treat your children the way that you are supposed to treat them. So it's time for you to sit your little self down, get your little self where you need to go where you need to be and take care of your children, take care of your baby. So that's what I did. And I gave up a lot. I gave up a lot because you can't trust them. Tell y'all, you can't trust everybody to keep your kids. Mm -mm. You can't trust everybody to keep your kids. I don't care who it is. I was told by one person that I thought could keep your kids. I was told some stuff and mm -mm. I just said, you know what? The club is not important. Drinking and smoking is not important. Ain't nothing more important than keeping my son safe because I done been through so much. So I gave up a lot of stuff, you know? But I'm lucky that, you know, I did that because I, don't wa I didn't waste no time with giving it up. I didn't keep saying, I'm going to get this up, I'm going to get this up, I'm going to get this up. So I'm not saying that I was cheated, but I'm going to just say, you know, I had to give that up too. So my childhood, my teenage years, and now my adult life, adult life, I'm supposed to be married. I'm supposed to be living just, you know, this happy life. You know, I'm not even trying to live the 
rich and famous life. I just wanted to live happy. I just wanted to be married, you know, have a wonderful husband who loves me, who wanted to be with me and only me, who cared for me, you know, and we was gonna grow old together. We was gonna buy, you know, buy us a house and buy us all kind of other stuff together. And I got cheated out of that. So basically, I just got cheated out of, basically y'all, I just got cheated out of my childhood, my teenage years, and now not not really my adult life because um, in my adult life, I, I learned so much. But far as, you know, having the things that I should have had, that never happened. I, I wanted to be a doctor or, 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 or a lawyer or something of that nature. I wanted to be all of that. But I let myself down from not doing that. You know, I let myself down. And as bad as it is to just sit up here and just be like, well, you got to blame this and you got no, you can't blame nobody but yourself. The only thing that I can say that I didn't cheat myself out of life is having my kids and, and them having my grandkids. That is it. That is it, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but I got to give me another one. But that is it, y'all. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me check my mailbox. Okay, y'all. But then another thing, I couldn't really enjoy a lot of things in life. Because I, at 15, I started getting real bad migraines. And a lot of that interrupted my life to where I couldn't do a lot of stuff. I couldn't do a lot of stuff because of these migraines. So the migraines started interrupting my life and then, you know, vacations and, you know, I didn't get to take my kids on vacations. I didn't get to do a lot of stuff. And it's a lot of stuff that I wanted to do that I couldn't do, enjoy myself with my grandkids. I can't swim. I can't do none of that stuff because these darn chronic migraines. And then now I can't enjoy myself because I have these large, huge fibroids. So yes, I feel like I cheated out of cheated out of life. And I can't blame nobody but me. You know, I don't know where fibroids come from. I don't know. I don't know where the chronic migraines came from, but they came. So I don't know, y'all. I, I just really don't know.